So the reason why this episode is so late is because I'm filming it right now. Um, yeah. So I guess I have some big news. Ooh. The comedy club that I normally perform at is moving towards uh, downtown Sarasota, which is kind of cool. Um, but the only difference is that I think the audience might be a little bit uh, more posh, and because uh, I'm used to playing uh, to people like me. That's a bit of a big news. Um, I, it looks like I'm going to go to Full Sail University in Orlando for music, you know, <laughs> the, um, I think I'm going to do the uh, recording arts division section. And, uh, and or the music business side, because I think I would like to have my own recording studio and kind of develop my own record label. Um, but I'd like to be a part of a record label first, that way I kind of have for sure idea how it would. Um, I quit making techno as Sean Roscoe. So, Sean Roscoe is now just, um, the comedian side of me. And I changed my stage name <laughs> to Tonka. And I've taken him down, oh, I'm right now in the process. I've taken down all sorts of my uh, originals as Sean Roscoe, except for the, the wordless stuff, just because I feel like, you know, I can't transfer that over to Tonka. Because I'm just going to be an electronic uh, pop singer. Um, you know, so I feel like I might actually end up putting some other Sean Roscoe items back up. But we'll see how much that costs. <laughs> um, so that's kind of that. Um, right now, as I speak to you on this Thursday, um, I have five songs for a brand new EP called um, Explosive. Uh, Explosive was originally going to be the first single of 2014, um, and then following would have been Nova. Um, that's the name. Anyways, uh, I decided I would make it because I have like I go through phases where it's like, oh, I just want to work on R&B, electronica music. Oh, I just want to work on dance pop music. Oh, I just want to work on trance rave music. So throughout time, throughout maybe f the course of four years, I have 20 songs that I've narrowed down to out of 70. So I've been really fine-tuning them, and uh, every time I come back to them, I, I find myself, oh, I should add this, or I should take this, or I should move this, um, which is kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to do uh, Explosive, five songs. Um, the first, so the title song, Explosive, uh, track one, I... Uh, I think it's more uh, less hip hop, but I kind of one at one word after the other rap. So I mean, you can call it rap. I, I just think it might be a little bit. Uh, um, I'm angry in that one. And then the second song is Trans Victim, which I first made that song. It was an accident. Um, Explosive was not an accident. I intended for that one to be so raw. Um, the original cut was explicit, but I just felt like I, I don't need to identify with swearing. Um, I try not to, in stand up at least. Anyway, so, uh, and the second song, Trans Victim, re recorded it, remastered it, re edited it, re put it together, it fell apart. <laughs> um, I want to take over the. Sam's Club. No, that's not what the words are. <laughs> I want to see behind your mirror. No, that's not what I wanted to say. Um, anyways, put your own words. <laughs> Anyhow, and then um, and then number three, Watch Me Burn. So Watch Me Burn was kind of like an idea I had in 2011 that I published in 2012, 
and I felt like, you know what, song could be better. So I took out me singing on the chorus, and I just let it rave. And then I um, re-recorded re my uh, breakdown of Bridges, and I took out my voice on the breakdown, because I was like, you know what, I don't need to sing all the time. My voice isn't that great. Um, so I just, I did the, the verses. I really compressed my voice because I want to sound like I'm talking in your ears because I'm so upset. That's all. And then, uh, yeah, I really like Washington Garden. Well, I love the cover art for Washington. But of course, it has Sean Roscoe written in it, so I can't really believe it. Like <laughs> um, check. Four is Die on the Dance Floor. I saw the Saturday Night Live bit or joke where Andy Sandberg was like, I just watched my best friend die on the dance floor. And I thought, oh my god, that name is ridiculous. It'd be a great techno name. So I took it. <laughs> and, uh, there's a song called Die on the Dance Floor. It's kind of a, the cousin to, or the sister, to my song VIP Music. That's Sean Roscoe. It's about, you know, partying and going too far. Um, but, you know, sadness you can dance to. <laughs> That's what it's all about these days. Oh, hollowness. So, um, and then the fifth one is, in my mind, it's strobe lights. I feel like we should end on a positive note. So strobe lights is, um... Exactly that. I wrote it back when I was operating lights at a church. I um we're not talking like, oh, let's dim the lights and turn it. There was like little concert lights where it was movers and shakers and get there up out of the way. Yeah, lighting cues. <laughs> so uh, I thought, oh the strobe light resembles this loop that I have, and I'm just thinking, you know what, uh, if, if that loop ever was visual, it would be a strobe light. And would it be a lava lamp? No. My impression of a lava lamp. So, I decided that it would be, um, Interest if I ever used stro oh I re-recorded strobe lights and it took my playing the violin off the strobe because it's stupid I feel like my violin I could have played better the first time but I was so eager and I gotta get this song out mm. but uh, now that I have all these songs almost seems like ten new ones um yeah ten new ones absolutely just because the other ten were just at least, I'm not even 10, like a 7. So, both of them are Um, anyways, I mean, I'm going to hungry. So, um, yeah. I'm going to be, uh, quitting as Sean Roscoe, comedian, techno artist, just becoming Sean Roscoe comic. Just because, why not? Just leave it alone. And, uh, plus, it's fun to have my actual personal stuff. Um, you know, to tweet and Instagram, and, uh, my shirtless pictures, and then, um, and then Tonica, I think it's gonna be a fun, um, Ultra Ego ride, just because I have so many awesome pictures that I've worked on for years, and I, I just, I think that I could promote my songs pretty well with them, um, I actually really had a hardcore thinking about going to Ringling, uh, college, but I didn't, I didn't do it just because I knew that I would prefer a life in the music industry. Who doesn't want to not have money, ladies and gentlemen? But anyway, so that's kind of what I've been up to. That's my, um, I've been so tired and bogged down with, uh, two, working in one musical, doing that now in another musical, um, trying to, trying to keep up with this documentary that I'm filming. Um, I don't think it's going to be a year-long type of project. I think it's just going to be 
a two year, four year span of time that I cut down into a ball. Um, um, borderline Celine Dion's documentary, Eyes of the World, or, how, how she, you know, or Madonna's documentary, where, but I'd like to have an actual filmed interview of me in black and white, so that way, in between scenes, I would kind of narrate, and then I would disappear, but the video would come in, so we'll see exactly how it's going to work. There's so many different ways to document it, but I'd like to um, send mine in to, uh, like I said, a film festival or something, just because I think that um, it'd be kind of a successful personal thing. I wouldn't look to win awards, but I was actually kind of brainstorming about um, the Emmys have uh, awards and uh, in, like categories that I would want to be in. So I was thinking maybe I could submit for an Emmy, and even if I did get nominated, I would get like a medal, and that would go on my resume, and maybe people would take me seriously if I actually won an award some kind. So, I don't know. That's all I'm really focusing on right now is being taken seriously as an artist. Because you ever see someone's name on, like, Facebook and you're just like, oh, tool, and then it's your name? <laughs> no, I don't think that would mean, but there's a few people I'm crossed with. Um, but anyhow, there's... That is um, this week's video. I'm sorry it I didn't. I'm not sorry. I've, I've been so busy. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. I had shingles, and and then I had tonsillitis, and then I got a job, and then I got back into this new musical. <laughs> Yay! Um, oh my gosh, I was in Young Frankenstein last month. It was a month before I think. And, uh, and I was, like, so gonna quit. I was like, you know what, as soon as this is done, I'm done. So I'd leave early after, you know, not leave early, but I would leave right after every show. You know how people you know, normally bow, and they're like, oh, let's, let's congratulate the performers on, on doing what they do. <laughs> anyway, small victories. I just was, I just left. I was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm too tired. Well, don't get, don't, I don't want them to get mad at you if you leave early, Sean. Okay. I have no lines. <laughs> Anyways, but, um, you're the werewolf. Shut up! <laughs> anyway. Alright, I'm rambling. Just ramble, ramble, scramble, bamble. Alright. That's it. Oh. The EP comes out February 15th. Tonica. T O N I C A. Tonica. Yeah. My mom and some other people say it sounds like a black girl's name. And I'm like, well, it's an electronica name. Avicii. Sounds kind of girly, I think. You know, Benny Benassi sounds pretty normal. That's um, Janet Jackson sounds like a girl's name, so. Uh, Alright, I'm done. Night night.